making a store delivery. Stick around, I'll tell you all about it. Hey guys, I'm back. So, very interesting day. Um, I ended up uh, reloading yesterday morning uh, in Pennsylvania, Procter & Gamble. There was multiple facilities. By the time I left, it was an ice storm. So there's a really cool uh, little Sitco station that's got a like awesome sandwich shop. Uh, I was able to wiggle in there. Uh, they're, they're mad cool over there. I was getting my chew and get a sandwich for the road. Uh, they always let me park. They're awesome over there. Um, I went to sleep. And then uh, when I woke up, it was like the afternoon. The storm was gone. It was a little wet, but it was, uh, wasn't was icy. So I beat it down. Uh, stopped on 80 last night uh, on the Ohio Turnpike. Uh, I was going to grab a shower, but they weren't looking. Uh, I don't know if someone was on coffee break or something, but it just wasn't up to par. And uh, my, my truck hasn't been packed with love and I don't know how long, so I don't have any more Lysol or any of that other stuff. So I was like, eh, let me hang out. I'll, uh, I'll do what I got to do until tomorrow. And then, uh, I went directly over to Costco this morning. Uh, my point was for 0600, uh, they opened up at 0430. I was in the door by like 10 to five. Um, this is for Lacey, the forklift chick. Uh, she had more tattoos than me. Awesome, awesome chick. Unloaded my whole truck in like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, had a cup of coffee with her, and then I beat it down. Went over to Kraft Foods over in Fremont, uh, Ohio, and picked up on Heinz Drive. And now I'm shooting back across to uh, Scoden Landing, New York, which is uh, way, way up, way up, like past Lake George. It's like right on the Canadian border, I think. Um, I got to deliver on Sunday, like 9 o'clock. So I have more than half the trip done. I uh, actually had someone send me an email. Um, I'm up at an Indian reservation, uh, Northeast New York. And uh, I'm going to go out, have some dinner, and uh, come back to the Spruce Goose. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get some sleep. And then whenever time I wake up, I can sleep in because I got nothing but time. I'll, uh, I'll mosey on over to... Um, to where I got to be, right across uh, from this distribution center, there's a pilot. And I was, like, hoping that I can get in there, like, first thing in the morning, you know, and try to get the load kicked off. But I read the reviews. Uh, even BOC said, mm -mm, nothing more than a half hour, 45 minutes before your appointment time. No truck parking. They'll ask you to leave. There's a pilot right across the way. So at some point tomorrow, it's been rainy, ice, stormy. Uh, in New York right now, it's okay. Uh, I-90 was beautiful uh, coming across Ohio. It was awesome. A little bit of rain, and then it stopped. Um, and uh, yeah, there was a couple stops that are brand new out there. I've never seen them before. There's another truck world that just opened up. There's a brand new TA that opened up. Uh, they're building another, uh, the speed code's already up, but they're also building another loves up there. And then uh, before you know it, you're over the line and uh, you're in New York and that's where I'm at now. I'm uh, up by Angola, Angola Indian Reservation. Um, matter of fact, the reservation police rolled up on me as I was backing in the spot. There's a prime truck, couple spots down from me. Really nice uh, Indian fella, got out, was talking, was talking about the, the Spruce Goose. Uh, he said he hadn't seen something like this. I was like, what are you talking, like Smokey and the Bandit, you call my truck old? And he, he at first was like, and I was like, I'm only kidding. And he's like, ooh, 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 nice people up here, nice folks. So I'm looking forward to going out and having some dinner and uh, doing the next right thing. And uh, all my homeboys are uh, either on home time or getting their trucks fixed. Uh, Billy Rains is running weird hours. Uh, Beetle Belly's running weird hours. I don't know where, where the heck anyone is. Bee's Knees is doing a reload. So if I have no one to talk to on the phone, I can't drive. So it is what it is. So that's going to be it for, for me for today. Also, I want to say uh, last Saturday, I was down in South Corny, New Jersey, and uh, I waved at a Schneider truck as I was pulling into the Schneider property. And Pony's trying to call me. And when I did that, uh, the guy looked, he took a double take and I just kept going nice and smooth. And all of a sudden the guy jumped out of the truck and he flagged me and I was like, Oh, what am I dragging? And, uh, this is for you. Um, Marley, 
He's like, hey, Trucker Wild, I watch you in BOC, blah, 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 checking out the Amazon hustle, man. Molly, thank you. You're a nice dude. Thank you so much. I'm sorry all week long I forgot to bring it up. You know, it's actually exciting, exciting when someone, you know, recognizes and they, you know, they're friendly. It's kind of cool. So, but yeah, all good stuff. But uh, for me to you, stay up, stay blessed. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. If you guys are on the road, thank you for your service. Remember, there's a family or someone that loves you uh, waiting for you on the other side, hopefully. Uh, and if not, just keep doing the next right thing and things will work out for you. Um, but just remember, always keep God first. Love your wife like it's her first and last date. Even if she hates your guts, everything else coming to play. Truck a while reporting from up, 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 state New York. Wishing you to stay up, stay blessed. Talk to you soon. Bye.